Here in the German capital city of Berlin, at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology, a study was presented that looked at TNF inhibitors and a reduction in cardiovascular risk, including heart attacks. And can you tell me you uh, looked at this TNF inhibitor and you showed a reduced cardiovascular risk, but you're not still saying that there should be first-line treatment. Can you address that? Yes. Well, um, if you look at the, the whole body of uh, literature, then also for the traditional drugs, so the DMARTs, uh, particularly methotrexate, data are quite convincing that they also do reduce the risk for new cardiovascular events in patients with, uh, with active disease. However, we don't have direct uh, comparative uh, data. I, I think the most important point is to suppress the inflammation as hard and as soon as possible, getting the patient ASAP in remission. And one of the new findings of your study is that there's a cumulative protective effect. Can you address that? Yes. So, so, so far, there are more studies that have, have shown that TNF blockade reduces the cardiovascular risk, but this is the first time uh, that the uh, cumulative exposure duration is related to cardiovascular events. And this study showed that after um, uh, one year anti-TNF treatment, reduction for uh, cardiovascular events is reduced by 24%, 24%, and it, that increases up to more than 50% after three years of anti-TNF uh, treatment. Anyway, uh, if you look at the cardiovascular risk in our patients, uh, I think every rheumatologist should be aware of this, screen the patients, treat the cardiovascular risk factors, that's one side of the coin, and the other side of the coin, um, and that's really a task for rheumatologists, is to suppress the inflammat inflammatory process as much as possible. Uh, so give DMARCs, and if they don't work after three or four months, give them a biologic agent. And that will also reduce not only the disease activity of our patient, but also uh, the cardiovascular risk.